What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about five of the most unique fragrances for men or women that pretty much anyone can wear. Um, if you wear these, you're not going to smell like anything or anybody else around you, and that is pretty much a fact. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the first one. This is probably going to be maybe the easiest one. It's going to be um, uh, Oud Cafe by Mancera. So... I'm pretty sure there's no one out there smelling like coffee, but it's gonna be one of the one of the probable ones that you might almost smell like somebody else, but I highly doubt it. And that's the easiest one in this video. So uh, that's the one that's maybe not as unique, but it's still very unique. Next one is going to be Intoxicated by Killian. This one is not a fragrance that's hard to wear. But no one pretty much wears this DNA. Um, some people say it smells like an old grandma perfume. I don't think so. A lot of people don't think so. I really love this DNA. But, um, if you love powdery, this is definitely one that you will love. Um, it's kind of like a purple, a purple powder. That's the best way to describe it. But uh, yeah, definitely it will be smelling very unique if you were this one. If you wear this one, I feel like you would probably smell very, very elegant, kind of like a million bucks if you wear it correctly. It's a really good one to wear. Next, we're going to go ahead and get a little bit more difficult. We're going to go ahead with Vertus Vanilla Oud. So this fragrance is a, another fragrance that it's, I mean, this is a little bit more expensive, but this is very unique. So it's going to be hard to smell like someone else if you wear this it doesn't project too loudly but it does leave a very good scent trail um, it's one that I forget I'm wearing so you go nose blind to this fragrance it's not that difficult for your nose it's not one of those that's always in your face for me I go nose blind um, fairly quickly but it does last for a long time so I would say be careful with the sprays on it but it's a very unique smelling scent next one is going to be Montal's Honey Oud. This is going to be definitely a unique one. Um, it smells like, I, I forgot which one. I think it was a Mod Interlude. That's what it smells like, similar to. But it's a very, very unique fragrance, especially for anyone out there. Um, if you wear this, no one's going to smell like you. If that's something you really do care about. Um, if someone does smell like you wearing this, then I mean, you guys are just being best friends. Just because it's a challenging one. You may be able to pull it off during the warmer weather with like one spray. But you do like two sprays, you're killing everybody in the room. For sure. And this is another one that you'll kill everybody in the room. And you probably should not wear this in the summer unless you're going to like Dubai or something. Um, this is going to be Ombre by Mason Alhambra. It is also a clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. So this is a very good one. I just realized two of my favorite scents are in this video, but uh, it's a really good one. I don't know what to say. This one I wore in Florida during the heat. Was it a mistake? Absolutely. But I was working indoors, so I wasn't really that much out. I wasn't wearing it out that much um, or just outside. And I wasn't sweating in this fragrance. I'd probably kill about five, six people if I was wearing this fragrance outside. Um, or like just outside, sweat a little bit, come inside. I'd probably kill everybody in the building. But uh, yeah, these are the five fragrances I have for you guys. Um, at least the unique smelling ones in my collection. Um, I could add another one in there, but I just wanted to do five. Keep it short. And that's all I have for you guys today. Please, leave me, please let me know what five or just what... Um, unique smelling fragrance that you guys have in your collection and that's it please do a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one have a good one